It's Saturday, August 20th, 2016. It's about uh, 6 10 in the evening. Anyway, uh, you already know what it is from the video. We got another mailbox finds here. So, uh, just got it yesterday, but didn't have a chance to open it, so I saved it for today to open it on camera. Let's go ahead and crack it open here. Alright, packaging looks pretty decent. Of course, I don't really care, so I'll get rid of that. Let's get uh, this bubble wrap off of here. And it is the, as you already know from the title, the truck series from the uh, why do I always forget the name? Obviously, it will be in the title, but from the, uh, not Retro Entertainment, but the, uh, yeah, whatever the series is. Anyway, I don't know why I keep on forgetting it. Um, so we'll show you what the packages look like, and then we'll open them all up. So this is a Chevy Silverado. It's got a street bike in the back of it, which there's a picture of it there, and then it's actually got the whole thing. Um, and there's the back. So in this line, we actually have the Ford F-250, the Ford Ranchero, Subaru Brat, Chevy Silverado, which we have here, and the Datsun 620. So again, there's the Chevy. And next, my favorite, the Ford F-250. Probably would like it better without the ladder rack on there. Maybe I'll take that off and just pop off. Probably my second favorite, which would be the Datsun 620. Except for the wheels, but I, I do like the truck. And then these two, uh, my least favorite is probably going to be the Silverado, honestly. So it's going to be a toss up between these two. Uh, probably the, the Brat would be the favorite, but here it is the Ranchero. Last but certainly not least is the Subaru Brat. This looks like it's a uh, it's not painted. It's actually just uh, kind of what they did with the um, some of the Back to the Future DeLoreans. It's just natural. I believe it is. That speckles you're seeing are not metal flake. That's just imperfections in the actual casting. So. We're going to stop the camera, we'll move everything around, and we'll crack one, every one of these bad boys open. So, we'll be right back. Alright, we are back. So we're going to start out with the Silver Silverado here. Uh, go ahead and rip it open. Now these are all metal base, even though they're black. Rubber tire with tread. Rubber light down. But again, um, as far as the detail, there's a spot on the paint, no big deal, but uh, no painted headlights, just the chrome bumper, which the interior is chrome. So that's all part of the one piece. Uh, kind of crappy tampos. You can see they're all chipped up. There you go. Again, I don't care. I mean, look at them. They're pretty bad off. No painted taillights. Uh, no nothing. Do you have a motorcycle in the back? Which, uh, you know, could be painted. It's a street bike. So we'll let that one spin for a moment. Maybe. There we go. And then we're going to open up the Ford F-250 while that is spinning around. While that one falls off the deck. Take that one off. So here's the F-250. Again, all metal base. Rubber tire with tread. No painted headlights, but at least you do have painted side markers. You got kind of the correct wheels, correct period, and you do have painted taillights. Of course, let's see if this, I mean, I could take it off, but I just want to see if it pops off without much force. No, but we'll probably, we'll take it apart and get it out of there. I mean, I could probably break it out, but I wanted to see if it actually popped out. And it may, there may be a trick to it. It looks like it pulls back. 
see the slots in there, but uh, yeah, I don't think it actually does. Let's see if we can squeeze it. Nope, nothing. So we'll leave breaking that to another video. Again, that's even got side micro markers in the rear, so they looks like they spent a little bit more time on that one. While that is spinning, we will open up the wrench or the uh, Datsun. Let's move this up a teeny bit. There you go. So I think I paid twenty-seven for this shipped on eBay. Probably not worth it, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. Figure five cars, five bucks a piece in the store, be twenty-five bucks plus tax. So I mean, it's the right price, but they're probably not worth it. So I'll kick that one off, and then we'll go to the dots in here. Again, all these are metal base, rubber tire with tread. Some may not have tread, but they're all rubber tire. Uh, all black grill, no, no details painted. In the back, same same again, no details, but it does say Dotson. But you have some campos on either side. Just. And I don't necessarily like the wheels. I and mean, then they've done that with the Dotson before and a lot of the um, Boulevard series. And they had those out, those had those. Why can't I remember Boulevard series, but I can't remember what series this is? Um, Obviously, you'll all know by the time I make the video because I'll put it in the title. But uh, yeah, still not coming to me. So while that is spinning, I will go ahead and open up the Ranchero. Okay, Ranchero, same deal, all rubber metal base no uh, you know some tampo this is actually this one actually has beautiful paint on it though compared to all the other ones uh, the 250 is pretty nice too as far as the paint uh, this one just really pops there's a few little bubbles in there but it's it's really got a nice uh, shine to it I like the wheels I mean this uh, almost looks like and it's not it's not the uh, uh, like a Redline series as far as, you know, Hot Wheels, but uh, whatever the series is called. I'm having a heck of a time with this today. Anyway, uh, it's, but the, the paint, I mean, is, is that shiny. It looks really good. Not the Metal Flake, but the uh, Spectra Flame. That's what it is. That's how shiny it looks. So they did a good job on that one. I'm kind of surprised. Uh, painted door handles, no headlights, no big deal. Tail lights, probably wouldn't be able to see anyway. The tampos are nice, you can see. Uh, they did a nice job on it. And the paint is beautiful. I mean, that's probably the best one as far as overall detail and everything in, in the pack, I would have to say. Maybe you will not agree, but uh, maybe not my favorite car, but it's by far the, the best paint. And then we've got the Brat. Okay, again, this is, uh, this is metal. Feels plastic almost, but it is metal. Uh, metal base, rubber tire, no tread though. Like I just mentioned, not all of them have tread. Just depends on the, the vehicle. Um, front there. This one I don't expect to be a lot of tampos or anything on. I mean, they do have the stripe. Now you see these. Looks like metal flake. That is imperfections in the paint. This is a raw. Uh, at least it appears to be raw, aside from the painted tail lights and the tampos. A raw casting like they do, uh, like I did with the DeLorean and some other series that had some exclu or some like Walmart exclusives, that kind of thing. You can even see here, this is probably something with the mold. There's a little pitch right there, like in the middle. See that line? Um, and all these little bubbles. This is what a, a typical Hot Wheels would look like without paint on it. So you can see they're pretty roughed. Pretty rough, pretty rough. Yeah. And all those little. So the paint, you know, it, it fills in all that, that garbage. Of course you could get crazy with it, sand it down, but use a little bit of primer or just paint. You can see even in this case the tampos pretty much cover up a lot of it. Now right there there's a little piece you can see it didn't cover up, but 
So this one, like I said, don't expect a whole lot because it is just a bare metal casting, which is kind of cool. It's not meant to be perfect. It's meant to be raw. So we'll let that one spin for a little bit and we'll call this one done. I'll probably, maybe, probably maybe, huh? I will probably try to make another video tomorrow because uh, the Johnny Lightning box is pretty much done. Little guy opened every car in the box. So I want to get them. I still have them. They're down here in the basement. He's, he's at his dad's this weekend. So I may make a bunch of little individual videos of the castings um, and then just put them back in his box. And he can have them. That doesn't bother me. But uh, I want to get them on video so I have some more footage or coverage of, you know, the collection. I think there's maybe two in there they didn't open. He basically, he, he opened one, you know, Papa, can I open it? Sure. And he chose me another one. I said, go for it, buddy. Just open all of them. And he did. Except for a couple that he didn't see. So. So that's going to do it for this one. If you have any questions or comments, post those below. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching.